Welcome to Easy Elim Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be discussing form 2 mathematics and our topic for today is reciprocals. Our subtopic is reciprocals by division. So we are going to see how we get reciprocals by a long method that is a division method. So when you talk about reciprocals, reciprocal is a number or reciprocal of a number is simply the number put in a fraction form or turned upside down. So for example, if you look at 3, we shall say that a number, a whole number, is always having a denominator that is 1. So a whole number that is 3 is the same as 3 over 1. If you turn this upside down, it becomes 1 over 3. You can see it has turned into a fraction of 1 over 3. So when you multiply 3 over 1 and 1 over 3, you end up getting 1 as a whole number. So if you have a very big number, let's say for example 20. If you want to get the reciprocal of 20, it's going to be 1 over 20. So you see the bigger the number, if you compare 1 over 20 and 1 over 3 or a third, you notice that 1 over 20 is smaller than 1 over 3. So the bigger the number, which is 3 or 20, the smaller the reciprocal. So 3 and 20, you see 20 is the biggest number, but it forms the smallest reciprocal. So how, how do we get... Uh, to do to calculate the reciprocals of numbers by division. So remember the first step is to be able to convert our values into a fraction and then we introduce now the division method. So for example, this is a fraction. This is a decimal, sorry, this is a decimal number and it has one decimal place. So there are a number of ways you can be able to convert this into a reciprocal. So the first thing you need to remember that 3.8, if you want to turn this into a reciprocal, is the same as 1 over 3.8. But remember, we want to get rid of the decimal value. So we can do so by multiplying both, both the numerator and the denominator by 10. We multiply this side by 10, we get 10 over 3.8. 38, sorry, 38, because the decimal place has been removed by multiplying by 10. So you can further divide this because they have uh, the same multiple, which is 2. So it, you can divide by 2 to get 5 and by 2 to get 1 because of 2, 18, you get 9. So this is the same as 5 divided by 19. So you can do this by the long method which becomes, so 5 divide is divided by 19. So you see 19, for us to get 5 divided by 19, you see this value inside the, uh, the division sign is big, is smaller than 19. So what we do, we introduce a decimal play, we introduce a decimal in our calculation. So we will put a zero point. When we, the moment you put a zero point, it means you have to add a zero in our long division. So 19, uh, 50 divided by 19. So we pick the closest, which is 2, which will give us 38. So this becomes, so 50 minus 38, this becomes uh, 12. So we are going now, from, from now on, we'll be just adding zeros because we are adding more decimal places. So it becomes 120 now. So it is 120 being divided by 19. So you pick another value that gives us a value that is close to uh, 120, which becomes 6. So 6 was going to give us 114. So 120 minus 114, this will give us uh, 6. So we continue adding decimal places. So 60 divided by 19 will give us, we have 3, so that we can get uh, 57, and then uh, which will give us a remainder of 3. We continue adding, so it's 19 uh, divided by uh, 30. So you are dividing 30 
by uh, 19, which is a, which will give us the next value as 1 uh, because of 19. So this will give us uh, 11 and so on and so forth. So you'll notice like we have used the long division method to get uh, the 5 divided by 19, which we got from our reciprocal number. So I said there's a way you can end up with a 5 over 19. And when you do that, when you when you look at the reciprocal, there is another way you can end up in the same value. So we said that 3.8 is the same as 1 over 3.8. So you can change this value first into a standard form. 3.8 becomes that 8 times 10 power negative 1. Power negative 1 means is 38 over 10. So this is a value that has not yet been converted into a reciprocal number. So when you convert it into reciprocal, it's the other way around. It becomes now 10 over 38. Either you choose to go to this direction or this direction, at the end of the day, you're going to end up getting the same value. Let's look at another question. So we have another decimal value, which is 4.2. So you can choose to, to make it into a standard form, which is 42 10, times 10 power negative 1, which is the same as 42 divided by 10. If you do the reciprocal of 42 divided by 10, it becomes 10 over 42, which is the same by divided by 2, you get 5 divided by 2, you get uh, 21. So it becomes 5 over 21. Or you do 1 over 40, 4.2, and then you multiply by 10 both sides to get 10 over 42, which is the same as 5 over 21. And then after that, you continue with a long division. That means you are dividing 21 divided by 5. So 5 divided by 21. So the first thing, because file is smaller than 21, we introduce a decimal place, which gives us a 50. So if we multiply by 21 by 2, we are going to get um, 42, which is the closest. If you subtract uh, 42 from 50, you get 8. We continue add, adding the 0. So next, you are going to look for a value that gives us a number that is close to 80, and this is going to be 21 times 3. So 21 times 3 will give us 63. So you put the 3, which gives us 63. So if we do the division, it's going to be 17. So you still see the 17 is smaller. We continue adding 0 because it's the next uh, division number. If we multiply um, 21, uh, times 6, for example, we are going to get um, 21, 126. If you multiply by 7, 21 multiplied by 7, you get 147. And if you multiply 21 by 8, you get 168, which is close to the value that we want. So it means 21. If you divide by uh, 170, by 21, we are going to put a so that we can get 168, which will give us 2. And then if we add, you see this is 0. And you see this value is still smaller and almost close to the value we want. So we add a 0 and continue with the process. So it goes on and on and on until you get the final value. You can see we have the, the answer and some remainder values. So you continue, we can continue with the calculation. So when you look at another number, uh, the reciprocal, getting the reciprocal by long division method, we have 12. So this, this is a, a whole number. It doesn't have decimals. So the reciprocal will be 1 over 12. So this is the same as 1 divided by 12. So we add the decimal to get 10. But you see the value is still very low. So we add another 0. And then we add another 0. So that makes the value to be close to what we want to get at the end of the day. So if you multiply uh, 12 
by um, 7, for example, you're going to get 84. If you multiply it, uh, eight, uh, 12 by 8, you're going to get 96, which is closer to what we want. So we are going to add 8 into our value on top here. We get 96. So it's 100 minus 96, which gives us 4. So we need to add another 0, just like we said. So if you multiply 12 times 3, you're going to get 36, which is closer to what we want. So this gives us 3 here, so that we can get 36, and it goes on and on and on. 3 again, 36, and then 4, 3 again. So it's a, a, a value that repeats itself continuously. So you see how we use the long division. Remember, we convert that value into a reciprocal first. If it's a decimal value, you change that decimal value into a standard form so that it can work better for you. And then after that, you do the long division method. When you do the long division method, you're going to get some decimal values. And you've seen how we work out the long division method. So that brings us to the end of reciprocal by long division. It's just basically the normal long division as you've seen in our calculation, but the only difference is you need to get the uh, values of, if you're given decimals, you change the decimals into whole numbers uh, by changing it into a standard form, and then you do the long division, normally as we did in form one. So you can check out more revision questions on the subtopics that we've just discussed, and you can also get the notes in the app, so you can scan and do so. And also watch out for the next video as we discuss further on reciprocals. So see you in the next lesson.